हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द हेमेटेमेसिस ऑफ इसोफेशियल रीजन व्हाट डू वी डिस्कस इट्स अबाउट हेमेटेमेसिस हेमेटेमेसिस व्हाट इज हेमेटेमेसिस हेमेटेमेसिस इज ब्लड वॉमिट वॉमिट इन द ब्लड इज कॉल्ड एज हेमेटेमेसिस हेमेटेमेसिस एम ई एस सी एस आई आई सी के राइट दिस हेमेटेमेसिस व्हाई डज दिस अकर what is the major uh, reason for occurring hematemesis it is majorly vascular lesion of esophagus which results in uh, hemorrhage and uh, uh, hematemesis so let us first discuss i mean here there are many vascular lesions which may lead to hematemesis in esophagus among that the first one which i would like to discuss and the most common one is esophageal varices this is uh, basically due to portal hypertension it mainly develop it is uh, it mainly de- it is mainly developed due to portal hypertension and the uh, pathology of portal hypertension we will deal in uh, liver chapter so basically esophageal uh, varices are tortuous dilated these are tortuous and even dilated and engorged esophageal veins uh, which are seen along the long axis of esophagus if this is the esophagus here you can see tortuous veins like this right so these are esophageal varices uh so these occurs reason of occurring these is increased portal pressure that is most mostly called as portal hypertension where do we see this portal hypertension in uh, the reasons of portal hypertension may be cirrhosis of liver uh, which is the most common cause or um, portal venous vein vein thrombosis uh which we will deal this uh, portal hypertension in the lesions of uh, liver so basically just uh right now confine that can confine our let us confine ourselves to uh is of uh, portal hypertension is of which varices is caused by portal hypertension and the cause of portal hypertension and others we will deal in the next class so these lesions are due to these portal blood vessels which are engorged and whenever there is increased venous pressure increased pressure in these veins leads to ulceration leading to massive bleeding right next uh, the second syndrome which i would like to deal here is mallory weiss syndrome mallory v syndrome in this mallory v syndrome there are, there is uh, lacerations are seen across the mucosa of uh, gastroesophageal junction uh this is mainly uh, we can see lacerations on the esophageal wall and uh, why are these lacerations seen the reason of lacerations is extensive vomiting whenever one vomits extensively or whenever one retches vomiting or uh, retching or vigorous coughing all these may lead to lacerations in esophageal wall that too in the a lower end that is in the gastroesophageal junction if this is the heart i mean understand lacerations are seen here so these are which are known these are called as mallory weiss syndrome right now the third one is what is the which is responsible for hematemesis is a uh, rupture of esophagus this rupture of esophagus is rupture is nothing but breakage of esophagus why is this occurring there are many 
reasons for occurring of uh, rupture of esophagus they are one is trauma trauma results in rupture of esophagus uh, or during esophagioscopy each of is esophagoscopy yeah during esophagoscopy or it may be due to indirect injury by sudden acceleration or deceleration of body or it may also be due to spontaneous rupture this is uh, this may be sometimes occurs stupid to me but it is possible that whenever you overeat even that may lead to oh, this esophagus rupture of esophagus but it's still uh, to say funny but i'm not sure but even that happens uh, what this is one of the cause for hematemesis and what are the other causes of hematemesis other than the very um, minimal causes for hematemesis uh, those that the, those minimal causes those include uh, one is uh, bursting of aortic aneurysm where into lumen of esophagus whenever the aortic aneurysm bursts into the lumen of esophagus this may lead to hematemesis and second one vascular erosion how will there be vascular erosion is most possibly by malignancy or third one is hiatus hernia has we have already discussed it and the fourth one is esophageal cancer which we will be going to discuss in two to three classes ahead and the fifth one is baby due to purpuras and sixth one it may be due to hemophilia so all these are the causes of hematemesis uh, in our next class we will deal about the inflammatory lesions of the esophagus and if you have any doubt you can consult me Okay then bye